So, hey guys, welcome to today's video. So, I picked up a new foundation. It's the Smashbox Always On foundation. I finally seen it out and about. So, yeah. So, it was recommended on YouTube. And <clears throat> again, it is takes can a hot minute to get a product. And so yeah, I finally actually found this at Shoppers Drug Mart. Actually found this actually in store at Shoppers Drug Mart. It's a Smashbox always on. It seemed that they got rid of like the 24 hour hydrating one, which I did like really, really well. That one I bought a few times and then I was gonna pick it up and new one again and you know, oh good big try. Yeah, that one was actually one of my favorite ones. And I actually like these squared off packaging a lot better because then I can fit it and store it a lot better. Like, this is more squared off so I can like, store them a lot better. So yeah, let's get dive on in. I picked up a few new, actually new things as well because Tati recommended it. I also bit, managed to pick up the Infallible 24 Hour. I got a hold of this as well. Again, can is always wipe to the ball of grease saving products that are new. So I haven't took my vitamins yet. My Sakura, which oh, there's another half of them. And trying to make a DIY like pumpkin spice like latte, but has been really working out. Not really. <laughs> um. So let's do the. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the uh, next pumpkin primer. <laughs> that pumpkin primer, that pump it right back from NYX is actually really good. Very hydrating. Not very drying at all. I think I paid roughly fifty-six dollars for it. Don't mind my little towel there. It's a sixteen-hour true color wear. So it is a cheese skin like balance. Need more hydration or oil control? This this primary fuse foundation helps balance skin while delivering billable radiant coverage. Infused with hyaluronic acid, bonus. So we need more hyaluronic acid. Uh, adaptogens, medium to full coverage with a radiant finish. Okay, I like it. Need the medium to full is where I like foundation that complexion looks natural and even okay I'm in okay this is sounds like something that I'm like I want to try every day this one's gonna be like oh it sounds like everything I want to do everything I need a foundation and the complexion looks natural and even transfer fade crease resistant well cake or cake or flake or streak dermatologist tested to use shake well before application build the liquid foundation is needed Okay. Come to the pump. In my opinion, foundation should always be in the pump. With some tarts for the primer. I love the primer, but I forget to use it a lot because I like using this area. Don't want my hair being still up in the towel. It's just I'm trying to get ready for it at the same time. As I do every, every video we film. 
So again, this is gonna be a full day road test. I'll leave when I get to work here. I have to get out of here in the next 40-ish minutes. So I am going to go in with the beauty blender. I'm gonna go out here. So let's see now. It's very liquidy. That's not as thick as some of the other ones I've tried. So yeah, let's dial in. I saw the date they changed the heads up. This Matchbox has changed their um, foundation shade name, so let's say. Because normally I'm like, let's say light skim or light sand. So I am in the shade L. 10N. So I have a neutral color. Finish beige. Neutral. Yeah, it looks a little light. I mean, I don't know if that was a thing because my skin has like a bit of red undertone to it. I don't know why. I just had a shower to this morning, so that could be it. So, no streaking with beating water at least. Yeah, I'm always like first, I like, I like to use my bore pops a lot. It's like a must have in a kit. If I have, if I'm making myself a kit to go, it's gonna have a floor pop in it. <laughs> I'm gonna go hourglass on the concealer so you know what's going on. I was gonna order a bunch more of these as for collection um, puffs, but it's not there anymore. So I went bronze with my Rare Beauty, it's in the shade Happy Soul. It's pretty much empty. I think for bronzing sticks, as soon as I'm done, is when I'm actually going to probably repurchase that one. I just haven't made a plunge to repurchase that one because I can't remember the shade I grabbed. So I'm just going to reorder the other day and when I did a Sephora or with a bunch of other stuff and there you go. Or was I going to pick up this store? I can't remember. This foundation though is like skin like you could you 
can still see like I attempt I can still see some my skin issues like freckles or hyperpigmentation. I don't exactly remember what 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 was it started happening here, but Powder the face. I'm gonna go in with some Laura Mercier and powder the face because we are gonna go in with some powdered, some um, infallible shadow and infallible blush. So quick. I should have just shouldn't answer that. I So I'm going to top up my cream bronzers with the infallible shot with the infallible bronzer as well. I, I have a hard time justifying paying drugs or pricing sometimes because it's like twenty dollars or something for it. These. Sephora and pay similar pricing for wear beauty. So there you go, Sephora collection. I noticed it was a tad cheaper than even the drugstore. So I grabbed the shade Fearless Coral Ow. Ow. So these are very painted blushes. Okay, that's fairly clean. I think it picks up good there. So, some of these, I'm tapping on the side of my hand here to get it there, and then let's get it on blush. Ooh, it's pretty color me. Like I said, a little bit goes a long way with these blushes because they're super pigmented. Okay. Loving that blush color. For sure. Love it. Oh, I also picked up the Sephora Collection Tinted Volume Brow Gel in the shade 3 for
Ooh, that's a nice size pulling shirt. I do got brows, but like, I don't like the bigger um, style ones, for sure. Okay, one. Okay, let's go back and finish eyes. I picked up the that's my success, and then I also picked up the I think that's a gill. What this is this is this is Gwen's line. So and a shade twinkle. There is like no, um, no, you know, really no base for this color, these shades at all. Glitter and glue really needed. my eyes it's a little better I need to go through my freaking um brown I'm use the essence super stay super stay play This is shade espresso, I want to say. But first, espresso. Simple good. I, I'm not a huge fan of doing anything on a lower lash line. I very rarely do that. Rarely do that. If I do, it'll be like a pop of color. But the color I'm seeing, I'm going to keep it the way it is. We're on. I'm going into the Maybelline Fall Surreal Lashes. This has been actually been really good. Gives me volume, like everything I look for mascara. Like I say, I'm probably gonna take you one of these days with me. I'm gonna probably do a vlog where I'll go out to all these local drugstores in my area and show you the ridiculously pricing. The drugstore, like, I wanted it so badly, but yeah, I don't want to because I'm trying to figure out a way. I'm gonna get so obvious that I'm filming in the store, but yet still film it in the store. My lip 
lips have been ridiculously dry lately. So I'm going to go in with my Tarte. I had my Tarte Twink gloss somewhere and I lost it within a day. I got chill right here. So I'm going to blow dry my hair finish everything else up and um i'll check you guys when i get home from work seeing how it is as long as see the makeup doesn't crease or anything all that nature and so it does it cleans what it does see well how all this blush holds again like my i find that my makeup does fade really bad throughout the day but like again that's probably me thing you guys just want like I like when it comes to blushes, I like very high pigmented blushes because I know that they will last when I get home from work. That's why rare is up there with me and then for sure. And then Vanessa Myricks. Uh they pigmented for me. Let's see how these two really hold up. I'll check in with you guys when you get home from work. Let's welcome back. So, I'm back from work. So, I got up at 6 o'clock. So, this foundation, I'm worn pretty good. I don't see much creasing anywhere on my face. No patchiness, no dry spots. Like, as I say, this foundation worn really, really, went really, really, really well. Like, a little bit of, I got a little bit of shiny areas here, here, like in the T-zone area. But with a magnifying, maybe primer or something, it might, it's not overly greasy, but it's like, A little bit toggle crazy. Yeah, so. This Smashbox Skin Balancing and Tonic Acid and Temperatures is a smash it. Like, I have to say, Smashbox makes really, 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 really good foundations. I haven't had a foundation I actually didn't really like from <clears throat> from Smashbox, but I would try that Halo line again. Like, have you? I was gonna ask you guys this question earlier, but I forgot and wasn't hurry trying to get ready for work. Do you guys like found that Smashbox that fell off the radar type thing? It seems like I honestly, if it wasn't for me chop, uh, shopping at, occasionally at Shoppers Drug Mart, honestly, I would have thought Smashbox closed down when a business type thing. But when they come up with something to hit, they come up with the hit products for sure. So this is. <clears throat> yeah, so. Yeah, that was like. They got it good. And then the L'Oreal Infallible Lush. Oh, she's still blushing. Still blushing. Still there. Like I say, the Infallible line. You can never go wrong with anything from the Infallible line. So, and then this eye glitter. Is going good and like my eyes have not creased but then again it's my base I usually use so there's nothing wrong with that so yeah <clears throat> everything I tried today is a smash it so yeah. I am 
been desperate need of doing a declutter, so I am going to be starting um, a declutter series here shortly. I have started some things, some things I have to get rid of. So yeah, I post two videos twice a week on Wednesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. PST. Don't subscribe, don't ring a bell, and yeah.